My city, my rules. Yesterday, we were back with the next part of Finding Sunshine on the episode Choose Your Story Up. If you have not seen the others, you can catch up on the wild playlist right here. We are going through ups, we're going through downs, drama, hearing people talk, people are trying to stir the pot. The last one ended with Bodie, Savannah's little sister. She ran away, or she's vanished, or she's something after Rue told her, you know, she didn't be friends with her anymore because her mom said so. And this poor little girl did not want to say this to Bodie. This is her evil mom, Allegra. Once again, stirring things up, being an evil person, being disgusting, being gross, having no redeeming, not, not one redeeming quality about her. And now Bodie has vanished. So we are going to see what happens here. Hopefully she's okay, but please go read the amazing author Bree's stories. They are so good. So, so good. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. She's what? Oh my gosh, I'll be right there. What's wrong? Bodie, she's gone missing. What? I have to go look for her. I'll come with. Okay, the one thing I'm nervous about is some people in the comments on the last video were saying there was that weird foreshadowing with that lady giving her like a free ticket or something. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I hope not. I, Jane, what happened? I was only gone for a second. I tried to find her. I looked all over the neighborhood. I'm so sorry, Savannah Ray. It's okay, we'll find her. Did she say anything? Was she acting any different? She was a little sad, so I thought playing outside would cheer her up. Everything was fine until I came back and she was gone. She was probably so upset about what happened with Rue. Maybe she went somewhere to cool down. She knows better than to go anywhere alone. I'll drive around and see if I can find her. Thanks, keep me updated. What is her favorite place? We should start there. She loves Edame's puppy. Maybe she went to visit them. Let's go. I really hope she's okay and this wasn't like a snatching incident. Edame! Edame, open up. It's an emergency. What is all this ruckus? I was in the middle of my soaps. Oh. <laughs> Who's this? Holden Rockwell, nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. She's out here trying to play. Edame, have you seen Bodie? I thought she might have stopped by to visit Max. No, she hasn't been by. It's okay, we'll keep looking. What's wrong? We can't find Bodie. Oh goodness, I'll call around with some of my friends to see if they've seen her. Thanks. Anywhere else we can check. Um. Big Jets, she loves this pool. Okay, so we're gonna check everybody. Um. Um, Jed? You're still messing around with Jessalyn? We're seeing all the tea of the people in the town. Addie won't be happy about that. It's a small town. My options are slim. <laughs> uh, did Bodie come by over for a swim by chance? No, I haven't seen her. What's going on? We can't find her. What has she run off? We're not sure. Ray, you don't think she's come back? It can't be. I spent my whole life waiting for her. She ain't coming back yet. <gasps> That was the other thing. I was trying to say it because in the case... Um, the other thing in my comments that people were saying is, what if the lady who... Or the person, we don't know who it was. Or was it the lady? I don't remember. Who gave the ticket to Bodie was their mother. Uh, mm, mm. I'll call my buddies down to the station. They'll send a patrol car to look out for her. Oh no, I'm really starting to worry. She's only little, what if she's hurt? Or lost or worse? Look at me. I promise it's gonna be okay. We'll look under every rock and pebble if that's what it takes. We'll find her sunshine. I am so scared. There's so much that can go on. Mr. Buford. Savannah, I know you're upset, but you can't just run out in the middle of the road. Mr. Buford. Savannah Ray, I miss seeing you every day. Everything okay? Nobody's missing. Have you seen her? Bodie missing? Hey, everyone, round up the troops. Bodie Bordeaux is missing. How long she been gone? About an hour. She couldn't have gone too far. I'll get the search party together and keep you updated. You should go home just in case she shows up there. Okay, promise you'll call me first if you hear anything. Of course, I'll be the first to know. Okay, I'm so scared. This poor girl goes through enough drama. 
Savannah, it's getting dark. It, it really is. Maybe it's time I go to the police station and file. Police station? The police officer is going to take you to the station so they can get this sorted out. Okay, so we're at a flashback. No, she'll be here. It's going to be all right. You can wait at the station with me. I don't want to go. Please don't make me. No, please not yet. I don't like the police station. All right, have you heard from Dixie? She said she wasn't at the ice cream shop. The whole town's looking for her. Someone has to find her. I should be out there looking for her. Bodhi is my everything. I know. No, you don't. You couldn't possibly understand all the things I've done, the sacrifices I've made. Everything I've done has been for her. I don't have anything else to live for. I would have given up on myself a long time ago. Oh, stop it. Don't you dare say that. Bodhi's so lucky to have you as a sister. Everything you've done for her is incredible. But you matter just as much, Savannah. You need to know that you're important. So important. Oh, uh, what did I miss? Bodie, Savannah, were you crying? Where have you been? Did someone hurt you? Are you hungry? When's the last time you've eaten? I'm fine. I just went on a walk with my new friends. New friend? Half of Sun Valley is out searching for you. Was I gone that long? You had us all worried half to death. Who is this friend? I didn't get her name, but she brought me an ice cream cone. What did I tell you about talking to strangers? You have to be careful. There were bad people out there. Bad people? Yes, Bo. Trust me, not everyone has good intentions like you think. So you can't just walk off with random people, especially without telling anyone. I'm sorry. She said we wouldn't be gone too long. Who is she? What did she want? She knew Gran. She asked about her. I told her that she's sleeping with the angels. Then we walked about the fair and I ate my ice cream and she told me she'll see me soon. You're not to see her again, Bodie. I mean it. But why? Because I said so. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I'm sorry, Bodie. I love you. I love you, girl. But you just went off with a stranger you didn't know, walked around the fair, left without telling anybody. And you're saying don't yell at me? You should be lucky your ass ain't grounded. Please just go inside and get ready for bed. And Bodie's such a smart girl. So I guess that means Bodhi's new friend isn't exactly a stranger. It can't be. Your mother. <sighs> I'm not trying to upset you, but maybe if you tell me what happened, I can try to help. Why do you think that I need your help? I've been on my... Okay, Savannah, we need to cool it. Hold it, I can take care of me and my sister just fine. I don't think you'd like it very much if I asked for every little detail about you and your family drama. I regretted the words as soon as they left my mouth. My tone was sharp and I can tell by the fire in his eyes that I cut him, but he didn't flinch. He remained calm, untouched, which made me realize I let my emotions get the best of me. I was taking my hurt out on him and he didn't deserve it, not in the slightest. He helped me look for Bodhi all day without a second thought, without one complaint. I didn't even have to ask. He was right there with me the whole time, yes. Soothing me in the sweetest way. I can guarantee I would have completely lost it if he wasn't here. I didn't mean to become so defensive. I just can't bear to think about that woman, my mother, and I'm utterly terrified of Holden knowing that part of me. I'm so sorry, Holden. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. I... It's been a rough day, I get it. You and Bodhi stay safe tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so she realized it. She became self-aware, so that's good. But... The fact we're just out here like nothing happened. <laughs> Bodhi's just chilling in the corner. Did you guys get your escorts yet? Why do I need an escort? It's tradition. Who's taking you? Boone. What about you, Ray? No one yet. I wouldn't even know who to ask. Girl, stop playing. I have an idea. Who? A tall, blonde architect with the most gorgeous green eyes by the name of Holden Rockwell. Holden, don't act so surprised. We know you want the D very badly. You're trying to get that vitamin D secretly. He would never escort me to the pageant. That man would let you run over him with a truck. I don't get it, Ray. If Holden Rockwell was into me half as much as into you, I would have been all over him like flies to honey. What's holding you back? Well, for one, he's a city boy. So uh, when have you ever wanted any of the guys in Sun Valley anyway? I don't. The guys around here are so eh. Then I don't see the problem with having some fun with the city boy. Holden's different. He's just not a regular city boy. He's a Rockwell. He's practically famous. Plus, he cusses a whole lot and his cheeky little comments drive me insane. And those nicknames. Well, actually, those are kind of growing on me. 
nicknames. Yeah, he calls me sunshine. See how she's getting all she's like, he calls me sunshine. Okay, it's official. When can we start planning the wedding? Y'all don't understand. He's so annoyingly incredibly perfect. Ugh, I swear he's not even real sometimes. I keep waiting for the catch, you know. I just don't understand why me. Why is he so sweet to me? Because you're amazing, right? And if he wants to show you that, I think you should give him the chance. You deserve to live your life and have some fun. I can't focus on fun, not after what happened with Bo. I'm afraid to even let her out of my sight now. You can take care of Bodie and yourself at the same time. You can't spend your entire life putting yourself last. It's decided Holden Rockwell's going to escort you to the pageant. Just ask him, Ray. Please, for us. Say yes. A few days later. She's pacing. She better ask. She better ask. Ask Savannah. Ask, please. We all want him. Well, at least I can get to bias now, but you should get Holden. Let me call you back. Savannah. Hi, what are you doing? Your pacing is making me dizzy. Or maybe it's her butt in those little shorts. Can I ask you something? Anything. Um, uh, look at me, Sunshine. You're making me jealous of the floor since it has all your attention. So, you know this Miss Sunshine pageant's coming up. I know it's stupid, but we're supposed to have someone escort us out onto the stage. Adelaide says it's tradition. Anyway, I was wondering... Uh, would you be my escort to the pageant? Yes, I'd love to. There was not even a moment where he was like, oh, he, yes, he was ready. I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, it's next Saturday. Next Saturday. I have a huge meeting that day for our NOLA project. I have to be there. Oh, that's all right. I can try to figure out a way to work around it. No, don't let me get in the way of your work. It's more important. I think this whole pageant thing is ridiculous anyway. I'm sorry, sunshine. It's fine. Lunch will be ready soon. I can't believe I missed it. Yeah, bro, she even called her an evil old woman. It was great. I can't believe what you've done. Oh, I am so happy we told Atticus. I thought we were going to sweep this little thing with Miss Allergy under the rug, but oh no. I've never been more disappointed with you in my life. How could you? How could I? You should be firing that girl for how she spoke to me. Actually, I'm thinking about giving her a raise. Don't you see? I'm trying to protect Rue from them. Open your eyes. You're the only one who's hurting her. Why are you always so hard on me? I was just doing what I thought was best for her. Keeping her away from the outside world is not what's best for her. I was thinking, maybe you need a break. I decided to take the family on a trip. And I think it's best if you stay here and think about what's really best for Rue. You're not taking her anywhere now without me. After what you've done, you don't get to say I won't allow you to hurt her. If I hear of anything about this like this again, I'll be making a phone call to her father. <gasps> Oop! You wouldn't. I will. You leave Rue here to go off and do God knows what every weekend. So I'm sure you'll enjoy the having the house to yourself for a few days. I want her to call me every night so I can know that she's all right. She will if she's not having too much fun with Bodie. <laughs> Savannah, come here. <laughs> Oop. Have you figured out where we're going? I was thinking a nice beach somewhere. You know what? I'm glad he laid down a lot. Because you know what? I get it. Rue is her daughter and she is her mother. But she's not acting like a mother to that poor child. She is keeping her away from friends. She's keeping away from the world. Like he said, she's doing God knows what on the weekends. And she's not a good person. And that's the thing. It's If she was trying to be a good mother and it was just like, oh, it's not working. Like you're smothering your child. That's one thing. But she does not care for Rue. She does not care. And if she does, I feel it's a weird, sick obsession that's not healthy. And there's something there. There's something wrong. I don't know what it is. And she said the whole, like, why are you always so hard on me? And maybe Atticus was really hard on her when she was younger. But the way she is now, it's not it. It's not it. You can't be mean to people. You can't be gross. You can't be vindictive. You you just can't be doing those things, especially to your child. So I don't feel bad for her at all. So how about Vegas? Think a little more kid friendly, Tobias. Disney World. No, it's too last minute for that. Chicago. Oh, is someone homesick? Nope. Someone wants to show someone else's city. What's wrong? Is lunch not good today? Did you hear Bakery Girl? We're going to Chicago. Oh, well, have fun. Are you all going? Yep, all of us, you and Bodie included. Me and Bodie? Going to Chicago? It broke my heart hearing what Allegra did to the girls. I have to make up for it, so how about a family trip? A family trip? Just a few days for all of us to have some fun. 
What do you say? I've never been outside of Louisiana before. Plane tickets are expensive, aren't they? It's taken care of. I don't know if I feel comfortable letting y'all pay for us. Nonsense. This is something I want to do for us. You and Bodie are family. We need you there. Oh, my stars. I'm going to Chicago. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, this is turning positive. Dad, you all right? I think this is a mistake. I'll head back home. You guys go ahead without me. No way. This is your idea. You're never used to be like this. Why don't you like to leave the house anymore? Oh, I'm so excited, Savannah. We've never been on a plane before. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. Ready to see my city sunshine? You're late. I thought you weren't coming. Wouldn't miss it. Just had a few things to take care of. Wouldn't miss it. Just had a few things to take care of. What's wrong? I can tell you're upset. Not upset, just nervous. I've never flown before. It's not that bad. Once you're in the air, you can't even tell. It's okay, we're all here for you. I love flying, but I totally understand the fear of flying. I totally get it. Will you sit by me? I'll even let you hold my hand if you want. Okay, so they're going on the trip and Atticus is getting out of the house. This is a big moment for him. This is a real big moment for him. Okay, now we're in Chicago. This is going to be exciting. We're actually out in the big city right now. Savannah's first time and Bodie's, I think. I love it here. Let's live here. The plane wasn't as bad as I expected. Bumpy and loud, but also relaxing in a strange way. I almost fell asleep. Taking off was the worst. I tried to hide how afraid I was, but Holden always seemed to know what's going on in my mind. He grabbed my hand and didn't let go for the entire three-hour flight. Dad and I are taking the girls to explore the city a bit. What about me? Why don't you guys ever want me to come along? Um, you should get that. Holden, where are you? Everyone's ditched me. Do you see that box on the table? Um, yeah. Open it. What's in the box? Do you like them? They look expensive. Good, they were. <laughs> Pick one and meet me in the lobby. Holden, hurry, sunshine. You got 20 minutes before I come up there and dress you myself. Wait, Holden. 20 minutes, I better hurry. Okay, so he bought her dresses. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we got sparkles. That's cute. I don't think that one's for me. I like the first one. Honestly, the first one, she looks expensive. Plus, it has the glittery sparkles. I love it. Who would know Holden Rockwell had such great taste? Okay, she looks amazing. Perfect. All right, we're going out for our first little moment here. Hey, I thought I had 20 minutes. 21 minutes and 43 seconds. Sorry, I'm not very patient. I couldn't wait to see you. Thanks for the outfit. I love it. Glad you picked this one. It was my favorite. You look even better in it than I imagined. Ready to go? Where are we going? You'll see when we get there. Just tell me. My city, my rules. That was a chapter title. Let's go. So off we go to what's going to be a mini date, let's be real. A museum? Oh, I bet this is partially stuff that he's done, maybe? I don't know. Tell me what you think. It's beautiful. They look like hearts. Good eye they are. I made it last year. You made this? It's not my finest work, but the museum loved it, so I sold it to them. No one knows I'm the artist behind it, though. Well, no one except you and I now. Wow, what's the meaning behind it? What inspired you? I don't know, honestly. I was in a bad place when I made it. I guess I wanted to create something that showed how complicated love can be. Complicated love. Jolie, she broke your heart. No, I wouldn't say that. I don't think my heart was in it enough to be broken. But betrayal hurts just as bad. I'm sorry, I know y'all were together for a long time. Too long. I wasted a lot of time in that relationship. Where did, where did Jolie go? I think she left, didn't she? After Allegra showed her true colors again and again and again. She never even hides her true colors. Then why didn't she ever leave? Jolie and I have known each other since we were kids. We were always the best of friends, and by the time we got to high school, she just assumed we were dating. I went along because I thought we were in love. Don't get me wrong, things weren't always bad. I'll forever be grateful to her for being there for me when I lost my mother. But looking back, it was never real. I was never drawn to her. I never felt the love she felt for me. There was never any... passion? Yeah. No passion, nothing like the irresistible pull I feel towards. <clears throat> 
Anyway, when she did what she did, it was easier for me to walk away since my heart already did long before that. I really had you all wrong, Holden. See, told you, you should get to know that Holden got before passing judgment on him. Do you have any more art pieces here? I'd love to see them. Ooh, does he though? Just this one, but I did have one more stop. You can't come home to Chicago without trying. Deep dish pizza, oh my goodness. I can't believe I've never had this before. It's the best, right? We need to get some to take back to Sun Valley with us. Oh no. Well, that happened. My new dress. My place is just up the street. We can dry off there. They're always getting stuck in these rains. This is his house? This is your kitchen? Oh my gosh, I've got to make a pie in this thing one day. You know he would love that. Anytime, Sunflower. You know I'm always down for your pong. I'm going to jump in the shower. My room's down the hall. You can wear whatever you want. Wow, this is fancy. This is real nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's coming in shirtless. My sunshine in my bed. Exactly where she belongs. A soft beam from the setting sun reflecting off of her skin. Her hair shining in the slowly dimming light. Perfect. I'm fully convinced that this is what I've always needed. Where have you been all my life, Savannah Ray? I like your bed. I like you in it. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Tell me, sunshine. I like it here. I mean, I like the city. I really didn't think I would. It's a little crazy, and I don't think I've heard a single please or thank you since I've ever been here. But I could get used to that. There's so much to do, so much to see. I gotta get out more, Holden. I gotta start living my life before it passes me by. And I just want to thank you for showing that to me. You don't have to thank me. I just want you happy. There's this bakery outside of town, the city. I'd like to take you tomorrow. Oh gosh, I love that. I miss being at the bakery so much. Do we have to go back to the hotel tonight? Only if you want to. Well, your bed is a lot. <gasps> oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting this. Sleeping with Holden is something I never knew I needed. I always have the most wonderful dream dwell in his arms. She just let this happen. I'm shook. The monsters that haunt my mind can't get me when I'm cuddled up on his chest. I feel safe, untouchable. I wish there were more hours in the night so I could stay like this longer. Every so often, he'll place little kisses on top of my hand while dragging his fingers over my skin, drawing imaginary pictures all over me. The most glorious goosebumps take over my body every time he does that. I love it. I've come to love all the crazy, beautiful things they make me feel. Wow. Hey, what's up? I need a shower. Second door on the right. I'm shook. Damn, H, who's that, you dirty dog? Calvin, shut up. Why is he here? Why is he still talking to us? Oh, it's Savannah. Her and her sister came to Chicago with us. You sleeping with that girl now? We're not sleeping together. We're just sleeping. What the F? What are you in fifth grade? Would you just mind your business? What do you want? Forget it. I'll figure it out. Enjoy your vacation. Damn. Someone fire that guy. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab us breakfast from the cafe. He's so gross. Why is holding friends with him? Hmm. Hmm. Damn, what kind of closet? This looks like a department store. His closet. I know it's the most simplest thing, but something about being surrounded by all his expensive suits and freshly pressed shirts gets me all excited. Oh my goodness, and the smell. There's a faint scent of luxury cologne hanging in the air. Oh, she loves that businessman. I can't help but inhale the delicious scents. It's everywhere in here. A gentle manly musk with a hint of sweet sauce vanilla. I wish I could bottle it up and keep it in my pocket so I can get a whiff of it anytime I want. I bet he will let you have the cologne too, Savannah. Hold in. Huh? Baby. I heard you were back. How did he know he was back? Who are you? Uh, who are you? Oh no. Oh my.